welcome back to Georgie B's Garden Stuff. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. I thought this was quite a pretty card. Now I made this card using stamp sets. Forever and always. And I used these two flowers, which I haven't got out. smaller of the two leaves that one yeah that's it out of that one and out of positive no art gallery I use the word happy birthday which is there put that on a block and this die Cut out the sentiment. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> and for the butterfly, I stamped and cut that out from Positive Thoughts, which I've already done. I did do two when I cut it out. So we have a butterfly. The cardstock, I've got a basic grey at 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and 1 eighth scored at 5 and 7 eighths folded in half let's move that a piece of blushing bride at 5 and a half by 3 and 3 quarters because I wanted quite a big grey border and then I have a piece of really old DSP I can't even remember. I think it was the bee, bumblebee paper. But I'm using the reverse with the diagonal check on it. And that's going to go on there. And that was three and three, three and five eighths by five and three eighths. Like that. I also have a piece of metallic ribbon. Which is stamping up. And this is four and three quarters long, which will go across the bottom somewhere. Like that. I have a piece of card for the inside, which is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and a piece of card for the flowers stamping. So we'll do that first. We'll also need masks for the stamping, so we need a big one and two smaller ones. I don't know why they're in there. Let's get rid of them. So, with my Memento Black Ink, I'm going to stamp the largest flower first. And I've got some on there. And we're going to just stamp that in the middle. Like that. And then mask it up with a large mask. And then we're going to stamp two smaller ones. either side like that and then we're going to mask them up because we're going to get our leaves and make sure I've got it the right way and we're going to stamp Two leaves together around the flowers. Right. 
like that. And then we're going to do one down the bottom here. So that's that done. We're bringing our Versa fine and another scrap of white, and we're going to stamp our happy birthday. And that will, we will cut that out. In that, so we've got about the same distance either side. Tape it down, and we'll cut this out. Might as well do it now. my sidekick. I do like this little machine. And there's our sentiment already done. Bin. Right, and that will go back in here. No, nope. wrong one. Art gallery. I've got a nice little one as well, which this stamp set is actually being carried over into the new catalogue. This one isn't, but positive thought is. So that's two being carried over, which I'm quite pleased about. Right, now we need to colour these in. So, what I did, I used soft sea foam and granny apple green for the leaves. Um, Rococo rose for the small flowers and a pink for the big flower. So we'll do the leaves first. Don't matter if you go out the edges because we are going to cut this out. why I'm not fussed about how I colour it because we're actually going to cut it out on the black line And that should be light, not dark. So that's light granny apple green. And all I did with this is just scribble up the middle of the, each leaf. the centre of each leaf just a little bit darker like that put 
my way as I go along. It saves me clearing up, up afterwards. Right, the pink flower, which is the big flower. This is actually Brush and Bride because I re-inked it in with Blush and Bride. to do it again. I've only done it once so it's lasted quite a while. Coco rose on the smaller flowers. Colour out for the middle. in the middle of each petal. Right, and we need, um, what colour did I do the middle? Mango Melody. That's light Mango Melody. Let me just Coloured in the middle of each flower. And there's our flower coloured in. Our scissors 
now and cut it out. The reason we're doing this is because we've got a pattern background. Never even tried to stamp on it like. cutting or trying to cut on the lines but I've got a little trick that if you go off the black line or don't quite make the black line Can put it back. I hope you all had a good Easter. I actually got to see my grandchildren and daughter and son-in-law over Easter. My grandson was down from university, my oldest grandson. He was down from university, he goes to university in Manchester. They come down for Easter. But he's gone back now. He's got a little job up there while he's doing his studies. Need to work these youngsters if they want to be at uni. Alistair's always been a worker though. He worked when he was at Sixth Form College. So he could run his car. Good for teachers and responsibilities. My third oldest granddaughter will be learning to drive soon. God, she's 17 this year. last year in college before she goes off to uni. Right, that is that all nicely cut out, but what we're going to do is take your black marker pen, hope I picked up the right one, and just go around the edges with it. But have your work, the back of your, of your work, facing you. On the one I did earlier on, 
I actually used my black blender pen and I thought that was quite a thick, left quite a thick mark. Whereas this one, as you can see, just leaves a nice thin mark around it. That's it. The reason you keep your work to the back of you, because like I've just done there, if you slip, it's the back of your work that's marked and not the front. What is that one? Again. doing this just makes you cutting out a lot neater looking there we are very thin border whereas this one was quite thick round it I think it just makes it look um, tidier Right now, on the back of this, we're going to put dimensionals. And I used quite a lot on that one because I used um, lots of um, mini ones on the leaves. So what I'm going to do this time is use the big ones on the body of the flower. Then with my little strips, yeah, I am going to cut little tiny bits for each leaf. Can you see that? Yep. It's better. Yes, it will take a while to do this, but it's worth it in the end. You don't want them curling up or folding up or whatever, getting damaged. Wrong way. with that so that's that ready that will need a strip along the bottom make sure I get the bottom bottom like that um, I'll just shove that there so now we can put this card together so I want my glue also need some glue dots and 
sådan noget, vi gør noget. Glue this onto here. Very thin border. And I've got the shapes for some reason. And we're going to glue this onto our card front. Even an even border all the way round. Like that. And this will go on there like that. This ribbon will go underneath it like that. So what we need is a glue dot. I'm gonna pop that there, and I'm gonna pop the ribbon. So it's even each side. Pop that down. And then I'm going to pop another glue dot underneath at the end. I think I mind about this every time I do this. Put far too many back uh, dimensionals on it, takes forever to take all the backings off. Enough, they come off quite easy. Right now, this will sit. Just there. And our sentiment will sit just like that there. I'm going to pop a bit of glue across the top. That's nice, like that. And our butterfly is going to sit there. But I want a mini dimensional under, or half a one, under each wing to stop it flattening. some glue along the mid bottom and we're going to pop in 
I have decided to set him butterfly. And this is wings are up a bit. In fact I should have put two. Never mind. That's alright like that. All we've got left to do is add some gems. So I am going to put oh, one there, one there, and one there. Where's my gems? I've only used gold gems today. I'm saying that this is my third card filming. You'll see this card on Friday the 16th, I think it is, of April. Right. Oh, and then we've got a bit for inside. And I did stamp my normal message on this, which is here. Make sure it's straight. And just stamp that in the middle. Like that. And glue that in. Need to find another message for the inside. Keep putting the same one. Not very creative, is it? Ah. Hope you like it. If you do, a good thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more cards I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.